Hi, uh, good evening to all. So I am Dr. N.V. Dandavani from uh, MEC Coimbatore. So today I would like to share with you some of the topics uh, which is related to a uh, design engineer. So before uh, going to discussing about that, I'll just give a brief idea about what exactly the design engineer is. So a design engineer is uh, uh, the, the versatile uh, user person because without uh, the design, we can't do any product in the world. Right. So basically, as a design engineer, if you want to become a, a design engineer, we need certain the important information. It's like the concept of engineering design and mainly the engineering drawings, mainly the drawing which consists of the layout, angle of projections and the title block and bill of material, all those things. So any manufacturing industry or any manufacturing process based on this drawings whatever it is there uh, they are going to manufacture so the, for that reason so the title block and bill of material layout and other details will be incorporated here and the next the most important part is angle of projection it may be a first angle projection or it may be a third angle projection because the country to country it's very but nowadays almost all the countries they are using both first angle projection and a third angle projections and uh, the next important factor is the dimensioning which is completely based on your certain rules and regulations it's like maybe you can you can do the dimensioning like uh, like a, a series of dimension or a parallel dimension but the objective should be the dimension should be very clear it should be out of the whatever the drawing or whatever the main uh, uh, drawing which you are going to see that that's important then uh, uh, almost all the drawings both the views it's very important it's, it's like orthographic projections and isometric view this is very very important when we are going to the make a drawing so because as a design engineer the other important factor should understand like selection of metal and its properties and the important formulas uh, then uh, the measuring in devices or measuring instrument the measuring instrument mainly which is used to make the measurement of the product or the measurement of an existing component based on that a design engineer should going to do any modification of a drawings or any modification of a product that's another important factor and one more important uh, thing is the tolerance limit fits and tolerance and the gdnc it's it's uh, like uh, the prime uh, concept which is which should be incorporated with your the manufacturing drawings and the standards and standard component as per uh, like standards as, as per global level standard it should meet that it's like selection of bolt nut washer and all those things because any uh, like product you are going to manufacture that without the fasteners we cannot uh, fulfill or we cannot complete the drawings so if you select the standard component with respect to uh, whatever the uh, like output you required whatever the drawing output you required based on it you can select it. so the standards are much more important and mechanisms and mechanics then kinematic linkage mechanical systems that's very important for a mechanical design engineers and uh, the next important uh, parameter is uh, casting and he need to do know the uh, like how to read the casting and machining components and building simple sheet metals then surface designs all those things because uh, the manufacturing drawing which consists of almost all the part drawing assemble drawing sheet metal drawing surface modeling and uh, component to split up then section of uh, components or section of modeling all those things so, so put together each and every concept each and every views and each and every details then apart from the certain notes and title block uh, whatever is required maybe a surface finishing process or heat treatment process and uh, like bill of material these are all the major parameter or major concept uh, should know a design engineers so once uh, like these details uh, knowing about uh, uh, like uh, these details as a design engineer then only he should be able to do any manufacturing drawing or modeling or analysis software so then only he should enter into your uh, software modeling maybe a 2d modeling or uh, a 3d modeling for getting a, a final outputs some places he needs to do the design and analysis by using some of the analysis software then finally he can arrive the the best optimal solution for the product
right so this is the basic and overall idea about a design engineer so when we want to enter in your design engineering job or design engineering area so we should know these basic parameters then he should become a very good or an excellent design engineer for that thank you thank you very much